Hey everyone, I'm Jordan Liberty, pearl makeup artist and bustle contributor, and today I want to share with you the easiest way to determine your skin's undertone, which in a lot of ways can be extremely important, and in other ways not so important at all. For example, clothes shopping. When I go clothes shopping, I don't bring a list of colors I'm allowed to wear. I look in the mirror and I see what color looks the best against my skin, and that's how we're going to do it today. Because undertone is so important when picking out a foundation shade, makeup shopping is the best time to figure out your undertone. Gold or red are the standards, or sometimes neutral, which most of the time also includes those olive undertones. When shopping, grab a red-based, a gold-based, and a neutral-based foundation that look closest to the darkness of your skin tone and swipe along your jawline. The shade that looks the least unnatural and most like it blends with your skin is the winner. Just be aware that you might have to adjust lighter or darker within your tone to make it perfect for you. So for example, if you swatch a red-based foundation and you have a golden undertone, that red swatch is going to look extremely pink on your skin, which is going to tell you that you're more on the gold side. And you'll notice that when you swatch that gold foundation, it's going to look much more natural. My model is golden-based, and so that top swatch looks extremely pink. So when I apply that golden-based foundation everywhere, she looks even and natural. And you know, if you're having trouble with this process at home, many retail stores now have skilled professionals that can help you determine your undertone and can even give you samples to test out in the comfort of your own home. Either way, you'll be all set and really nothing to stress about. Personally, I think this method is much easier than trying to determine your undertone using the color of the veins on your wrists or colors of clothing that look nice on you because that can be very subjective and not extremely accurate. So I definitely prefer to let the foundation do the walking. And that's really it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and can't wait to bring you a new one very soon. Thanks so much.